Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Tong Cao. I'm from Yangzhou University in China. It's my honor to introduce our latest work, ODDFAS Discovering Java Deserialization Vulnerability uh, via Structure Aware Directed Gray Box Fuzzing. Uh, so, first is what is Java Deserialization and what is its uh, security threat? So, uh, serialization enables an application to convert an object to a stream of bytes. The counterpart is deserialization, which reconstructs an object from a serialized byte stream. However, such mechanism is very useful in many scenarios, such as uh, cross-process or cross-platform data transmission and persistent storage. However, despite its convenience, Java deserialization exists several security threats in practice. First, it's open. Uh, Arbitrary objects may be injected by adversaries, which breaks the traditional trust boundary of inter-process data transmission and introduces attack surfaces. Second, this process is also dynamic. The deserialization parts of an injected serialized object can be manipulated by abusing runtime polyformism or other dynamic features. Third, due to the existence of magic methods, malicious objects get executed automatically even before deserialization finishes. As shown in our threat model, once uh, the attacker controls the property type of serialized data, security sensitive code can be easily hijacked by invoking exploitable guard chains. So controlling data ty types, uh, it can result in controlling code. Uh, let's look at a simplified example. Uh, it, may, it, it is named Commons Connections 2 in ACC library, an attacker can initiate an injection object priority queue uh, in the first line, which contains a malicious payload within its field queue at line two for exploitation. To, employ, uh, to enable the injection object to follow the execution flow that the guard chain specifies and finally trigger the security sensitive sync method, method invoke at line 25 that the attacker should dynamically set the property computer at line three to an instantial com transforming computer object. Uh, in iterally sets transforming computer's property transform at line six to another instance to facilitate the payload object reaching the sync. So uh, if we, uh, so the confirming words there are exploitable guard chains in the applications. Uh, it's more urgent when we want to hunt for Java deserialization vulnerabilities. To detect such, uh, to detect exploitable guard chains, guard inspector leverages static analyze and symbolic execution to compute the propagation passes of tainted parameters and then performs brace first search to identify attacker controllable guard chains. However, due to uh, such a purely static solution may suffer uh, precision issues and result in high pos positive rates. Furthermore, it requires manual inspection of the reports. So there are many, many more uh, uh, false negatives. Uh, the next other approach is serial hybrid, which is proposed in ASC 2022. Uh, it employs points to analyze to construct heap access paths from source objects to sync objects and authorizes fuzzing to generate actual injection objects for verification. However, its heavyweight point to analyze may not be applicable to large applications. In addition, uh, injection objects may have a multi-label class hierarchy. Uh, fuzzing solutions without prior knowledge about such a complex Next is structure with certain control or data flow constraints are effective. So to address these challenges, we propose a novel hybrid solution, ODDFAS. In particular, our approach perform a high, uh, lightweight tent analyze to identify possible guard chains. Then we adopt a novel structure aware directed fuzzing solution driven by a step forward mutation strategy and a hybrid feedback to reach candidate vulnerability repeatedly. Uh, first, due to the Java runtime polyformism, existing CoGraph-based analyze may suffer from precision problems. 
which blindly consider a uh, while uh, blindly considering all a candidate overriding methods will lead to the past explosion issues to effectively and efficiently identify candidate Gary chance we perform lightweight summary based can analyze which performs uh, which first uh, conducts DFS uh, or its name depth first search based on the pre-computed method summaries to chain available guards. And then we perform class hierarchy analyze CHA on the core statement only when the caller is tended to avoid the past explosion issue while covering all available guards, which can be exploited by abusing Java runtime polymorphism. Second, heavy use of multi-label nested structures makes garbage chain finding effective. So we propose a structure aware seed generation approach. In particular, we instantiate each class involved in the garbage chain and the leverage reflection to dynamically collect available properties of each class to construct a property tree. As shown below, uh, the root node represents a class object that holds one or more garbage and the leaf nodes are a series of garbage fields which contain the property type and name. Uh, if the property type of field node in a property tree is an object represented by an other property tree of which the class holds the next garbage in the target chain, uh, we will, uh, sorry, uh, we will merge the two property trees by connecting this field node to its responding class object node. Uh, third, to efficiently select and schedule the seeds to reach the security sensitive sync, we propose a hybrid feedback driven seed prioritization way. We take two types of feedback matrix. So the first is uh, garbage coverage. It, it, uh, we want to use this matrix to trigger more branches in the garbage, uh, and we can explore diverse execution policies. And the next, Similar to AFL goal, C distance is a normalized distance between a basic block in the extrusion trace of seed and the target basic block. The main difference is that we only connect the executed basic blocks within the guards of the target chain to compute the seed distance. Uh, fourth, we propose a step forward strategy which leverages a parametric fighting framework to map the structured inputs to a sequence of untapped bits to mutate the generated seeds at the bit level while ensuring the structure and semantic uh, validity. Uh, for example, to mutate the int variable size, the father invokes the method random next int uh, to generate a random integer one. To generate an object every queue, the father invokes the method random choose to assign it a distance object from the predefined dictionary. To guide the seeds towards a desired sync method, we insert tra additional identifier bytes with the method random next bool into the parametric sequence of an injection objects to mark whether to mutate the property values of this nested subject. Uh, suppose that there's an injection object that stops in the target transforming comparator compare the, uh, this method, the father will flip its identifier to true and mutates the parameter sequence corresponding to class. Based, based on this step forward mutation strategy, the father can effectively generate semantics aware inputs, which are more likely to reach the target sync. So for evaluation, we select Y0, uh, a connection of 34 known garbage chains discovered in 22 common Java libraries that can be, exploit, can be exploited to perform unsafe object serialization. In addition, we also apply OTDFast on four famous Java applications to test its ability in discovering Java audit vulnerabilities in the wild. These applications contain no deserialization entries and cover diverse application domains. We repeat each experiment 10 times and report the average static performance and set the threshold for each guarded chain to 15 guarded. Each chain will be fast around uh, 120 seconds. As shown in this table, audit files stat statically identified a total of 20 out of 34 non guarded chains and dynamically generated sync reasonable injection objects for 16 out of these chains.
and there are no false positives. The remaining 14 guard chains are missed by our approach in static identification stage, mainly due to limited support for, uh, support for certain dynamic features. Uh, compared to uh, baseline scarce inspector and server hybrid, we can find that uh, our our approach reports 16 guard chains without false positives, and all their uh, identified chains are covered by our approach. So, uh, uh, among these chains, we find that audit files can detect certain unique guard chains that cannot be found by baselines. When applied to real world applications, our approach successfully detects six previous long known Java audit vulnerabilities. Five of them have been assigned CVE IDs. Our approach also has several limitations. First, our static analyze is imprecise and relies heavily on the per over expert knowledge. Second, although the awareness of our uh, structure aware generation a strategy, it still needs to be suitable for diverse digitalization scenarios. And third, audit files also require some human efforts to help construct practical e exploits. So in conclusion, we propose a novel hybrid solution which combines tend analyze and directed fuzzing for Java audit vulnerabilities. Results show that our approach could discover 16 known vulnerabilities and find uh, six new vulnerabilities in real world applications. That's all my presentation. Thanks for your listening. If you are interested in our work, please contact us. And the website is uh, shown below. We will open source for uh, in the field uh, in the near future. Thanks. All right. Do we have any questions for Sijong? All right. I actually had a question for you. So. You said your analysis needs some domain-specific knowledge. So uh, can you talk uh, about like how much work you would need to support a new application or a new target? Oh, yes. Uh, in our, uh, in our stat uh, static an analyze, uh, if we want to hunt for Java audit developers, we have to point uh, source, source and sync because we, we need to perform can analyze. We have to point which method it can accept an uh, unsafe uh, deserialized uh, object. And we have to point another sync method. It can receive this uh, object and perform some uh, uh, security sensitive operations such as remote code execution. And uh, however, it, uh, despite it uh, syncs, uh, no, so, uh, sorry, uh, although we need to uh, some uh, per hour Kuma expert, but it it is extensive because we can uh, met, uh, we can iter uh, iteratively add these magic methods of source and things. So it uh, so it 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 is not a, a critical uh, drawback of our approach. I see. So it's not essential. So without even without the domain knowledge, your thing can work. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah, yes. Right. Sounds, sounds good. All right, thank you. Uh, Thanks. If you don't have any more questions, and let's uh, thank the speaker again. Uh,